Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. Today I'm in Osaka and I'm going to be eating at Yamatoya. It is a kushikatsu and sushi restaurant. So that's food on a stick, fried food on a stick, and sushi. It's supposed to be bargain, cheap price, and delicious. Let's check it out. So here's what it looks like before it goes in the deep fryer, right? Pretty interesting. You can just about get any kind of food on a stick. You guys hungry? Well, I'm hungry. Let's go in, shall we? The first dish to arrive is beef tendons. This doesn't come on a stick because that takes a little bit longer to cook. This one comes out really quick. So we're going exotic beef tendons here. Oh boy. So it looks like kind of cartilage like. I hope I don't spoil my appetite with this. It's pretty slimy. Going in. Oh, steamy hot. It smells amazing. It's in a thick broth, I think. Mmm. Oh my. It's very flavorful. Creamy. Like that. So this is a meaty bar. Mm -hmm. Hi. It's a fatty bar. And this sauce that it's in is really thick. That's pretty tasty. Look at that. Beef tendons. Oh boy. And now some crunch. <laughs> Very interesting. And to drink, I've got a yuzu cocktail. Yuzu too high. So it's. Yuzu is kind of a mixture between a lemon and a lime. Let's see how it tastes. It's got either vodka or shochu, Japanese shochu in it. Oh, it's lemonade like. It tastes like a lemonade. Mmm, that's delicious. So the kushikatsu has arrived. It looks gorgeous. Wow. This is the sauce right here for dipping. Yep. And the rule is you can only dip once. There's a sign outside that says no double dipping because the people that come next will be using the same batch of sauce. So I have to be very, very careful about not breaking that rule. Okay, first ones, we start with the cheese, the cheesy goodness. No, I gotta start with the vegetable. Look at the size of this asparagus. Huge. See so if you dip this just once, there you go, halfway. Oh, they're all gonna be really hot. What is that? I forget what this one is. Oh, this is the shoga. This is pickled ginger right here. Let's cleanse the palate once first. Yep, going into the sauce. Going into the sauce. The question is how much to dip. Not too much, maybe just half, three quarters. Okay, pickled ginger. It's a lot of ginger, this is heavy. Mm. Wow. Mm. More. All right, I got this almost. More. It's a lot. I didn't realize I ordered so much. This is delicious. Pickled ginger. Mm. It's almost meat like. And it's not as strong of a flavor that I would think. It's not as potent as, as you'd think it is. Very interesting. Red ginger. Yeah. All right. Next up, <clears throat> let's 
give this a try. This is the Rancon or Lotus root. You can tell by the holes in it. Might go too heavy on the sauces here. And the sticks, when you're done with them, they go right in here. That's convenient. Here it goes. Oh, that's delicious. Lotus root has this nice sort of crunchy texture. Mm. Oh, and it's soft on the inside. Mm. So the breading for the kushikatsu is, it's light. It's almost like a tempura light. Let's try the asparagus. Look at that. It's pretty rare to get asparagus this big in Japan. Too much sauce? What do you guys think? Mm. Oh wow, this is so fresh. Fresh hot vegetables. Mm. This might be the best asparagus I've ever had. To eat it like this, this style. Mm. The sauce is tangy, thick, and a little hint of vinegar as well, too. Mm. Oh my. Wow. I am really enjoying this. All right, let's try the cheese. I believe this is cheese. It looks like cheese. Yeah, you have to kind of remember what everything is. He tells you when he delivers it. Just a tiny bit of sauce. <clears throat> Cutting back on the sauce for the cheese. Oh my. That's a lot of cheese in there. Cheesy goodness. Oh, nice. Deep fried cheese. Can't really go wrong with deep fried cheese. Mm. This is, I'm gonna let you know in a second. I think this is the pork. Either the pork. This is either the pork or the fish cakes. Mm hmm. Fish cakes with cheese on the outside. Mm hmm. Tastes like the same kind of cheese. <clears throat> the fish cakes are very chewy. Japanese fish cakes. Chikua, it's called. No, it's squid. I was wrong. <laughs> Oops. I think what happened is some of the cheese got on the squid. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, delicious. Squid. This is round two right here. Mm-hmm. And it also comes with cabbage. Which, I thought at first, like, you put it in the cabbage, you could eat it that way, but they said, no, you can just eat the cabbage by itself, raw cabbage, or you can dip it as well, too. So. That's pretty tasty. The sauce is boss, for sure. Mm -hmm. Moving along. Could this be the pork or the fish cakes? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know these are the eggs, the quail eggs. <laughs> and this is the onion. Mm -hmm. so, sometimes it can be a bit of a mystery, which is fine. That's what we like about it. This is definitely the fish cakes with cheese, and this is delicious. Better than the squid. Mm. Soft. Mm. And typically, I really don't like fish, uh, not fish eggs, but fish cakes, but this is delicious. This is deep fried, it's got the sauce and the cheese. So this is probably gonna be the pork. 
So pork, I think short rib. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm. This is really soft. See, right now I really want to dip this once more, but it's against the rules. I got a little bit here on the plate. Yeah, I should have dipped the whole thing, but you never know. This just would taste better with more. Mm. That's maybe the best one so far. Deep fried onion. You can't go wrong with that, huh? So, this is like a Japanese onion ring, if you will, but in the shape of a half moon instead. Oh boy. That was pretty special. Sweet. Mm. Sweet and then tangy with the sauce. Definitely fun eats. Mm -hmm. Food on a stick, deep fried food on a stick. Oh. And these are the quail eggs. Yes. Did we save the best for last? Quail eggs. I'm just going to dip one. Oh. Quail eggs. Fantastic. Let me open one of these up. They're kind of half boiled, soft boiled. You can kind of see there. Yeah, they're very soft as compared to a, a regular egg. Yeah, there you go. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I think I need another one of these. Okay, next up is the unagi or sea eel. No, freshwater eel in, in the egg, in the scrambled egg. Yep, and this one probably show you works better on this. I'm gonna try it just the way it is. This is kind of sushi-like. It's cooked eel. Mmm, that's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, freshwater eel. I'm just gonna have the eel by itself. It's probably cheating. Mm. Oh, so good. So good. Gotta try it. Unagi or freshwater eel. And the saltwater one is called Anago. Anago. Mm hmm. That's nice, tasty. So it's got shoyu on it already, which is kind of nice. And then you're supposed to put the daikon on it too, the radish, a little bit. Not too much. Like that. Yeah, that's the correct eating style. Mm -hmm. Let me read this for you guys. It says sabesu, and you get three sushis for each one of these. So I'm gonna order up a couple of these. It's very rare to get three pieces of sushi on one plate. Usually it's two or just one. So they're probably gonna be really small because the price is 150 yen, which is like a dollar 40. I think I'm gonna try for some exotic ones that I've never had before, like namageso. Can you guess what that is? Namageso. It's raw squid tentacles. Yeah. And this one, oh, wasabi nasu. Yeah, eggplant with wasabi. Mm -hmm. right. uh, wasabi nasu. Wasabi mm. Ebi to salmon. Salmon. Mm. Right. It's going to take a little while. So we just had an SD card error and we missed the first two pieces of sushi that I ate. So there was an eggplant here and there was another piece of salmon here. Let's go to the eggplant, take two. 
Okay, this is raw eggplant with the wasabi. Okay. Yeah. So pretty good value. So three three of each of these for a dollar forty. It's not too bad. Here we go. Raw eggplant and wasabi. Two first. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, it's different, I'll just say that. I think I prefer cooked eggplant. Going in for the salmon. But really good value here. This looks good. There it is good. Mm hmm. It's nice and soft. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know how they can sell it for this cheap bargain. And then, of course, the shrimp. And the shrimp comes cooked. A little wasabi there, you can see the green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the tail for a little ex extra added crunch. Mm -hmm. Japanese lemonade. It's called Yuzu Too High. Yes. This is sushi round two. And again, these are less than 50 yen a piece. It's pretty good value. This first one. This is interesting. This is a local one. It's called Mehari. It's a pickled vegetable. So not fish. The other ones are fish. Let's try the one I've never tried before first. Interesting, huh? I like the exotic ones. Oh! Hmm! It's got, some, <laughs> it's got some crunch to it. Some crunch, some chew. It's a thick vegetable. Yeah. A thick, dark, leafy green. This is my good or tuna. I like the pink color. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a lot of wasabi. Nice and soft. It's good. And this is the other type of eel. This is the one that comes from the sea. It's called anago. So this has already got a sauce on it, so no show you necessary. Mm -hmm. mm. The difference between the anago and the unagi is the anago is it's softer. Freshwater one tastes a little bit more meaty like. If that makes any sense, even though it's sea snake. Yeah. Good stuff. Choco banana. Choco banana. Yeah, I gotta get that. Dessert like. Look at that. So this is not this is not the katsu sauce. Not this. Looks the same. But this here is chocolate sauce. Mm-hmm. So fried banana. I'm gonna go extra heavy with the chocolate. Oh, it's coming right off the stick. The banana is gooey. It's hot. Hot deep fried banana. This should be interesting. Should we eat it with chopsticks? <laughs> so the stick slid right out. I'm hoping it's not going to be too hot. Oh, look at that chocolatey goodness. Oh, very chocolatey, very gooey, breaded goodness, messy, you yeah. know, didn't quite work with the stick. Let's go for maximum chocolate. Here we go. Well, 
Definitely a good way to finish a meal. Yeah. So, bargain kushikatsu and sushi in Osaka, Japan. What a treat. Yeah. I really enjoyed this meal. And on my rating scale, one to six air kids, I think I'd have to go. Mm, it's pretty close to full, but I'm gonna go five on this one. Almost a six, yeah, five stars. Pretty interesting eats, traveling in Osaka. Yeah, there's a lot of good food culture in Osaka. Very interesting, yes. There's a lot of pride, you can tell, in the way that they prepare foods here, so. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We'll see you in the next one. I'm going to show you how to become a giant. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team, get some.